Hello everyone, Duke here with episode 5 of this Napoleon's Battles mini-series. Uh, in the last episode, remember, we were victorious. We reversed uh, history at the Battle of the Nile by defeating Nelson at Abukia Bay. And we even, <laughs> we even managed to kill him in that battle, but he's managed to make a miraculous enough recovery in time for the Battle of Trafalgar seven years later. Now, I know that this battle has a reputation. It's a tough one. I think that this will be... Argu arguably the hardest uh, alongside perhaps Waterloo um, so obviously we're going to do it very hard, we'll pull it up there, I'll let the clip play and then we'll see how uh, how things stack up once the battle gets going so I'll just get the video playing now and off we go Villeneuve understands nothing Villeneuve has achieved nothing Without control of the seas, how can I invade England? Now the army of England must move against Austria. Villeneuve can earn his pay and go into the Mediterranean. That should be simple enough for him. <laughs> How's that for a pep talk for Villeneuve? <laughs> okay, so, yes, okay, so... I can see there... Okay, it's the combined... Franco-Spanish fleet will be combining the French, it seems. The Spanish... Oh, the Santissima Trinidad. Biggest age of sail ship ever. 140 guns. Um, looks like the English will have the weather gauge... Uh, the British will have the weather gauge towards us, as they did. Yep. Alright, let's start battle and see how things unfold. October 21st, 1805. Off the southwest coast of Spain, near Cadiz, my Franco-Spanish fleet under Pierre de Villeneuve has unwisely set sail for Naples. The nearby British fleet under command of Admiral Lord Nelson has tracked the French fleet for some time. It has formed into two columns and is looking to use the prevailing wind to attack from the west. At the heart of the fleet is the 106-gun first rate, HMS Victory, the British flagship. If my fleet is to defeat the British, this vessel must be stopped by any and all means. This will not be easy, but my Franco-Spanish fleet contains some of the largest ships in the world, including the 140-gun Santissima Trinidad, a ship bigger than anything Nelson could. Uh, okay, looks like they just put us straight in. Um, let's... Okay, we've got a few ships back here as well. Okay, let's get everyone sort of sailing up a bit. Um, I think including you. Uh, I believe the Spanish uh, command themselves here. That's the Santissima thingy there. there. And uh, Napoleon was absolutely right. We, I think we, we need to make sure Nelson dies. Um, and nice and early, just like we did at the Nile, because his ship and his presence are uh, of. It, it can't really be <laughs> exaggerated how important he is uh, for the British. So. And how important his death is for us for that. Uh, so we've got seven ships, two of them, you know, no, no match for the English fleet here, the British fleet, so. Um, oh, I'd give anything to be able to come on the Spanish fleet right now. Because if we had the Santissima Trinidad, I would try and yeah, I have like I'd have it flanked and just have it barrage the British fleet as it came in. In fact, it's more than that. I th I think because these aren't actually Napoleon's battles. I mean, the series obviously, but they're not. You know, he didn't fight these. I I do think that these should be British battles that you have to try and win. Uh, it, it's because it's <laughs> it, this is so difficult um, to do as the French, um, but that is not ours. Is not to reason why. Right, it looks like the Spanish are loosing sail. Looks like they're getting stuck in. They can't wait. I'm not going to follow them in. I will let them do their thing. If they want to charge the British fleet head on, well. Maybe they can try and weaken them for us. Uh, I certainly don't think we have to worry about the time uh, limit. <laughs> I certainly don't think so. I, I, 
this battle will evolve quite naturally on its own. Right, let's see if we can get yeah, a few things lined up here. Uh, so Nils is going to be coming this way. Let's see if we can get yeah as many guns as we can ready to bear on him. So let's get that ship there. These two will be ready to fire on him. Right. Oh, there we go. Looks like we got the first volley. Right, the Santissima. Oh, that's a Santa Ana. That's 106. Yeah, right. The Spanish have better ships than we do. And look, look at the. Can you see the stats? Can you see these um, chevrons by the side of the icon? So these guys all have chevrons. Uh, we have none. So th th their sailor. It represents it accurately. The British sailors. The ship, the French, are often said to have better ships than the Napoleon Awards, and that's most likely true. They had great corpse and great timber, uh, but their sailors were not well trained. They did, they kept a lot of their ships in port most of the time, whereas the British sailors were always sailing around. So it does accurately reflect that. But in this battle, they've actually made the English tougher as a navy than us, which it was the reverse on the day. I mean, the British fleet was numerically weaker but it was better commanded and the sailors was better. So that's my big gripe with this set piece. I, I, I do like the naval battles and all that in this, in this game, and I, I like a lot of set pieces for those dogger battles, but I feel like this one was a bit... I, I'm not, I don't massively agree with this direction. Um, I think, one, we should be fighting as a British, and we should be fighting with a great, nail, great navy... a uh, great commander, sorry. Uh, oh, yeah, Santissimo's fine, right, and Nelson, that's what we are. A uh, great navy... Great admiral and great sailors, but with a weaker navy, and that's your challenge. Whatever you know, whatever. That's like I say, that was not the reason why. Um, this is the way it is, isn't it? So, all right, let's everyone get firing into Nelson. Um, yes, Santi's one just got a fantastic volley into me like that. All right, keep killing him. If you can blow up, that'd be fantastic. Uh, but I, I find it very rare that we make them blow. They make us blow up, basically. <laughs> So, right, these two will be firing, I'm sure, into the Achilles. Uh, so let's keep everyone firing into Nelson Wall. Ah, that was painful, look at that. Yes, he's fleeing! Good, come on, come on, come on, come on. And he's on fire. Come on, do it. Do me a favour. Right, keep firing into this ship here. While it's closed, I think we should lose everything we can into it. Yeah, this gun is fine, the ship is fine, so that's good. Um, Nelson is routing, but he's on fire, but he's not dead. Okay. Uh, you start repairing. Um, yeah, let's get everyone to keep firing into this ship. Uh, come on, yeah, everyone keep firing. If he, if he blows up, we just might have a chance. Uh, let's just pause. I just want to assess the situation. Okay, that's fleet. That's fantastic. Okay, so Nelson is battered. The HMS Victory is on fire. The men are running around. They've lost about half their complement. The Argonauta is firing into its uh, nose, <laughs> its uh, aft. So that's one of the. Okay, yeah, what the Spanish ships is fleeing. God, how much more damage can this thing take? It must be nearly dead. Uh, if it has to sink and we have to drown Nelson and kill him a second time, then so be it. That's just the way it goes. That one's a fleeing, yeah. So. Uh, is, he, is he dead? He's dead! He's dead! He's dead! Okay, right. Um, that should not give me such joy as a Brit, but today is a different day. Right, keep firing into that one. That's it. Okay, um, Ignacio is dead. Uh, not surprised. Um, I think we have to expect that. Uh, that's surrendered. Excellent. Get away from it. It's on fire. I don't want it to explode and make us explode. Ships can catch fire from neighbouring ships that are on fire. So. Right, Nelson has surrendered. and Well, Victory has surrendered and Nelson is dead. This is promising. You stay there. You move up just a teeny weeny bit, but get ready to fire. All right, Villeneuve, swing right. Same with you. Everyone fight. No, 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 no. All right, fine. You're fine on that ship. I'll take that. Okay. Um, but everyone keep firing on that ship where you can. You stay there. You stay there. You turn around. That one is routing. That's routing as well. Excellent. Okay, let's keep going. Um, keep doing some more. Um, okay, so I th think one of ours was exploded. I, I can't remember. Um, yeah, we've locked... Looks like we've down to five ships now, which makes you think that, yeah, we were right. Okay, how's... Is that one any dead yet? Yeah, keep this one coming up. Fire into them. You turn around, do a bit of damage. That one is really not... That's hanging in there, that one. That's it, fire into them. Um, 
Okay. Kill nerf. You turn around. I think this ship's going to die soon, but at least it's gotten a good amount of damage done for us. Alright, that one surrendered. Excellent. Hopefully being near all these fleeing ships will make these guys' morale. Like, yes, that one surrendered as well. Excellent. Alright, that one, I don't think we can do much to save it anymore. I think we have to accept it's gone. Something's blown up over there. I hope it's one of theirs. Um, that one's really on fire now. It might even blow up soon. Good. That might set that one on fire, and that'd be funny. Uh, that, one's, that one's blown up. God, it's, not, it's just pandemonium now. Okay, let's turn around, try and get this one before it gets us. Same with Villeneuve here. Um, you turn around. I think you're going to have to take on this uh, one on your own there, buddy. Um, you're going to have to... Yeah, everyone keep firing on that ship. Um, are there any Spanish ships left? I mean, just, let's just, I'm just let's just going to pause. This is so mad. I'm, it, it's so fast. Uh, one, two... Three, four, five, six ships left to deal with. Boy, oh boy. I think the Spanish fleet is ancient history now, so uh, we won't worry ourselves with it. Yeah, fire into that one if you can. Good, Villeneuve, you can do your thing. Everyone fire into that. Uh, actually, maybe Villeneuve, you might want to fire into them now. You keep getting firing into that one. Yeah, you keep firing into there. Uh, Villeneuve, stop. You keep going around. That's it. Yes. Nice. Good stuff, guys. Keep firing. Um, I'm just going to let you fire into that ship now. What can you do? Yep, that one's fleeing. Excellent. Maybe that'll make this one get the poly wobbles. Who knows? Uh, it surrendered. It struck its colours. We might just be a little lucky now. Let's turn around. Uh, I think this British... Because the British sheep are better, the British one will win this fight. Um, I won't be surprised if the French one surrenders. We can't be too upset. We've just got to keep going. Keep plodding along. Not let it get to us. I'm I'm quite sad I've left this one behind, but there wasn't a great deal we could do about that. Um, let's really just try and get this ship uh, off the board. Yeah, you keep sending around a fire into its stern when you can. I'm going to use slow motion a little bit just because everything is really fast paced now. We're outnumbered still. We want to make sure that we don't expose ourselves needlessly. So, keep going. Uh, Villeneuve, you're in trouble, aren't you? But... Okay, I'm just going to turn this ship around. No, I'm not. No, no. Because that can get a volley on us. No, that would be stupid. Right, try and get that one, guys. Um, something's exploded over here as well. I don't know what did it. Again, I, I can't... It looks like a British ship from the colour scheme. But I can't be sure. Um, maybe we can fire into that one if we're lucky. Uh, that one's steady. Um... Yeah, this ship's in trouble, but... It's, these are on fire. Well, one of them's on fire anyway. If one of that could, that could explode, that'd be fantastic. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm worried about now, because this one's running out of time to... Please hit that one. Yes, good. Oh, that's good. Nice. Yeah, a little bit of hole damage on it. You're coming around there to fire on him. I would like to do this on fire so we can get the sound effects, but... I think right now we just need to know what's going on. So, um, let's fire into that one's house. Uh, this one's still... Okay, it's got its guns ready. I think that one's st still blockading the way. What can you do? But we do have the weather gauge, so we can speed up just a teeny bit. And then get round to fire into its after. I think that will permanently damage it. Uh, this one's held out longer than I expected. I like that. That one's on fire, and you never know. It just might blow up. And then we'll only have that one to deal with. So... The odds, it's so even right now, the blue-red bar. I think it's slightly in their favour. I'm not surprised. Let's just hope that one doesn't explode. That good, that's good. That's exploded. Let's get these guys out so they don't get hurt. Um, let's turn them around. Yeah, let's get this guy over here. So, Meanwhile, yeah, that one's ready to flee soon. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we still lose this little engagement here between these two. But uh, you never know. Let's see. Oh, it's fleeing! It's fleeing! Excellent. Okay, that's... Is, is it working? I think there's only one ship left. I think there's only one ship left. I think it's him. I think we've done it. I think we've done it. I think... I can't see any more. This we've done it! This is a victory for France or Spain. It is a victory for all in Europe who hate the British. Which is to say, all of Europe. I am abs... Wow. That was so much fun. So much tension... That was just crazy. Honestly, I was keeping calm for most of the video because 
you know, I'm, yeah, it's just kind of who I am. But I can honestly say that in in my head, it was sheer panda. Think ships were exploding left, right, and centre there. I can't wait to watch the replay. I can't wait to see, we watch this recording and to see how many ships were blowing up. That was nuts. That was so much fun. That was so crazy. This is definitely one of the harder battles in the series, I reckon. Um, Trafalgar has a reputation. I tried doing it as a kid a few times. And, and that was just on normal difficulty, and I found it really difficult. I was privately dreading getting to this point. I think the Spanish did a really good job, actually. The Santissima managed to get a really good uh, amount of damage done to Nelson. Um, and So they charge in, they always do their script. They, they all lose their sails and charge in. And... You know, I guess it's a little bit of RNG to see how well they do, and I think they did a bit of damage to Nelson there. And then we took him out nice and quickly. He died. I think, I think the victory even exploded, but he was dead before then. I'm not sure what killed him. I don't think he drowned. I think it must have been a cannon shot. I'm just going to save this by the way. Um, and yeah, close victory. I'll definitely say, look at. We got four ships mostly intact. I was kind of worried about what's going on over here as well. I thought we've got these two ships to deal with here, but they, they struck their colours because so many of the British ships have surrendered and blown up, I guess. I guess the fact that they've blown up as well kind of makes it look like the numbers were heavily against them because they didn't even have ships on the board anymore. And being near a bunch of surrendered ships makes their morale go down. Um, Pierre Vinlap, so yeah, look at this. We have 12 ships to their 11, which is really not good for us because the British ships are so much better and Nelson is like a nine-star admiral compared to Villeneuve and, and Nessio, basically nothing. Uh, let's see for us who did the most. I would love to see the Spanish numbers. I reckon the Spanish did a real number of them. Let's have a look. Um, for who lost 195 souls. I reckon that one blew up. I reckon that was one of ours that blew up. The same with uh, the Eigel. Eigel? The Argonauts. Yeah, these are all... I love it because these are all names of ships, especially for the others as well, that, of ships that were at the um, Battle of Trafalgar. So the Redoubtable killed a lot. Redoubtable put in a shift. Even uh, the Bacantor, which was... Um, Villeneuve ship did quite a lot, and the Mont Blanc here. God, I think we we just did really well. I can't believe it. I am absolutely thrilled with that result. I am so happy right now. I I'm so glad we caught that. Wow, and I hope you guys liked it as well. Um, I wish I could say I knew what. I basically I just started off the French fleet moving up to form kind of two lines to meet the British fleets that came on and let the Spanish thing do its thing and then we'll mop up afterwards and it kind of worked it just sort of works alright uh, and so many ships were blowing up I can't wait to see I'm going to count how many actually blew up <laughs> it was it was like a fireworks display it was just like one after the other that helped as well because some British ships caught fire and then they exploded um, that's what results in yeah like I say so they only killed two of us I don't know how I should believe that we killed zero enemy apparently it looks like everyone blew up I don't know those stats seem a bit weird um, but we did lose ships. We lost two. The, the Spanish fleet surrendered completely. It always happens. Um, right, so... Oh, I, thought I was worried we were going to have a crash there. Okay, so... Nice gold eagle on the Battle of Trafalgar. Yes. So happy with that. The Battle of Trafalgar, 21st of October, 1805, forever confirmed Britain's naval supremacy, leaving the Franco-Spanish fleet, Villeneuve's career, and Napoleon's invasion plans in tatters off the coast of Spain. Not today. Today, Villeneuve won. Villeneuve was the... Was the again, it never feels good as a Brit to have to um, reverse the fortunes and let the French have the victory there, but I think, you know, I'm just so happy that I don't even really care now. Uh, it's such a relief. I'm so glad Trafalgar's done. So, that's episode 5 done. We've done Trafalgar. So, chronologically now, I believe, Austerlitz will be next. We're back on dry ground. Apparently, they're on dry ground now. That's a G-Naval battle's done. We're we'll doing Austerlitz next time, where we're going to be fighting the Austrians and the Russians, as the French. We're going to be knocking off their high perch. And then, I think, yeah, Freiland after that, and then Bolladino, and we'll do the trail as per normal. Whew! What an episode. Uh, I am very happy with that. I hope you guys enjoyed that as well. Uh, I wonder if it was a nail bite for you as it was for me. I really wasn't sure. Even at the end there, I thought we had more ships to fight, and then fortunately they all struck their colours, and I think my reactions is it all. Oh, I couldn't believe our luck. But um, there you go. I was not the Duke today, I was the Admiral. And <laughs> today we defeated the uh, British fleet off the coast of Trafalgar. I hope you liked it, guys. Well, next time we're going to do the Battle of Austerlitz. Keep going chronologically and get back on dry ground. Uh, don't miss it, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.